What's up everybody watching? We are back with another gameplay playthrough and this game came highly requested by the viewers that I give a try. It is an open world crafting adventure where you fight, farm, and build alongside mysterious creatures called pals in Pal World. Now, I've also heard many different comparisons to this game to other games. You've heard Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and Breath of the Wild. I've heard Ark. I've heard Fortnite. And I've heard everybody's favorite over and over again, Pokemon. It is often described as Pokemon with Pew Pews. So that alone is interesting. And has also been described to me as a game that Pokemon should have been. So that is kind of interesting to say as well. There is only one way to find out if this game lives up to all the hype. It's to jump in and get on with some gameplay. Now before we do that, I want to point out this game is still in early access. It may have some bugs and it is not made by a AAA studio. So on top of all the hype, this game not being made by a AAA studio and raking in what it is at this point is something that I definitely want to try. So without further ado, here we go. We're jumping right into the gameplay and we're going to get on with the adventure and see how it goes. Time to venture in and see what all the hype's about. The towers are the key, the tree holds the truth. That's the intro cinematic? Alright. Start out in the windswept hills. From that brief, brief intro cinematic, it gave me a little bit of Arceus vibes and a little bit of Zelda vibes picking up the tablet. So, I mean, from the start of the game, I saw some similarities. I'm going to try to avoid that throughout the game and enjoy the play. Picking up two wood sticks. There's a... Pal. There's our first one. A lamb ball. One of the ones that saw us wash up on the beach. So, we have to open B, build a workbench. That's that Fortnite feel. I'm not totally against all these games being mixed into one, as they're saying, because if it turns out to be fun, a good, fun gaming experience is the main thing. Open technology from the menu and unlock a PAL spear. Okay. So to get into the menu, we have to go to technology, structures, unlock a PAL box. Yeah. Unlock a PAL spear. Yes. So it requires wood to unlock these things. And we're going to unlock a campfire, a wooden chest, a repair bench, and a wooden structure. So we've unlocked two tiers of technology very quickly starting this game out. We have our workbench together. A couple pals chilling around here. I like the cat. Cat's Eva. Land ball. And an adventure. What does the advent? What does the adventure have to say? Expedition Survivor. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. The island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. So the pals are going to eat you? They look so innocent. Here, take some basic supplies you need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. So we have new things we can build. We have unused stat points. I have to say, with the brief cinematic, this game certainly has things you can do very early on, which I'm liking. So if we go over to our stat points, HP, stamina, attack, defense, work speed, and weight. We do want to enhance it. So the first stat I think I'm going to go with is weight. Because if I can increase my bag space, that gives me the ability to build more. I have a feeling I'm going to have to build a lot of structures here. So, we might as well go with that early. How much wood do we have? 
what can we make from our workbench? Because right now we have nothing to survive with. No items in queue. A club. All right, we'll make a club to start out with. Where do we get some stone? I don't want to start clubbing pals right away. I want to try and create some of the technology first. I'm guessing this is stone. Chiquipi. Can you mine it with a club? Yeah, I guess early you're going to have to to get your first bit of it. Five is going to create a pickaxe, if I saw that correctly, which I'm assuming will mine this quicker. Unless you're going by the stat. Enhanced work speed, but I'm guessing getting the materials for an axe, a mining pick, and things like that will make things go a little bit smoother. I'm going to mine a little bit more stone. Maybe I'll be able to create everything. I want to get all four from the first workbench real early and see how it goes. Torch is probably a good idea too since it's getting dark. I want to be able to see. Let's see if we can get a little bit more wood before we head back and climb up. As our stamina drops, we did make it up the mountain. Handheld tor- oh no. You lose health? Looks like we have to make a torch quickly. Our health is dropping from being cold? Okay. I like it. Get to that workbench. That's why I wanted to get this stuff together quickly, because you have no idea what's going to come around the corner. I guess the torch is the biggest priority at this point, since we're freezing and losing our HP. Hmm. Get one of those. See what we can build. Yeah, we'll take the axe too, so we have all the supplies now. Warms you up and gives you the light. So you're doubling down with the torch. Wooden foundation, wooden wall. So this is for our eventual house, I'm assuming, that we build. I think a campfire is going to be necessary. We're going to need to gather more wood for that. Wooden chest. That is also going to be more wood and stone. The pal box. We need stone, wood, and pal fragments. So it looks like we're going to have to venture out and collect some more materials in the middle of the night. There's a tree very close, so we'll just chop some wood. Where's our axe? Is that it? Can't see in the dark. Maybe not. Alright. I guess we didn't make the axe or we didn't pick it up. We'll have to go check back. Take the wood here. And head right back. I want to get a campfire up. Alright. We're still stone short to make that. Hmm. Seems like you can only venture in the daytime. Unless you have a way to heat yourself. I'm wondering if you can get gear, will you not be cold? Can you get the type of, like, snow style gear or whatever type of gear so you don't need the torch? I guess we can pick up the sticks as we go. With our torch. Oh, 
Oh, that mines the stone much quicker. Very nice. Good stuff. How much weight do we have in our bag? Two fragments, one ore. So that looks like we'll be able to get the pal box together. So we have to craft a pal spear, attack a pal the weak, and then basically catch him in a pal ball. That sounds kind of familiar. We just leveled up. Okay, good, good, good. Where is the weight in our bag? We're at 237 out of 350. I'm trying to decide what the next stat we get is. Head back to our bench and keep building. Looking at the land ball with the torch, and I'm like, well, they do do attack us, so should I light them on fire? But they haven't done anything, and I'm assuming that's not going to be something that's going to be allowed. We'll find out. Could be. Could be. We will see. We will see as time progresses in this game. So Pal Spear is definitely something I'm going to need to build here quickly. Insufficient again with the wood. Is there any sticks lying around? Or do we have to actually find a tree? At least it's not far. Axe, okay, good. Now we should get some wood much quicker. Yeah, there we go. It's all coming together now. 16 with wood fiber. Is this where we're going to be creating our home base? Can't go here, can't go here. We have a... Too close to a special boss facility. Oh, maybe we are going to have to move our base a little bit. I have unused stats. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. What stat do we want? I'm gonna go with bag weight. Disassemble. And we take the materials, right? Yeah. Give me the materials. Escape is what takes. I'm trying to pick. I'm trying to use the F key to pick up the materials. I'm like, oh, that's a little weird. That's how you pick up everything else. Like the wooden sticks on the ground didn't work that way. Escape just does it. Maybe. You know what? This is a nice view. We're gonna try and set up our base right here. We didn't go too far. We can clear this stone out of the way. Oh, that's a nice view. You know what? Who doesn't want to work with a view like that? set up our workbench here. I want to clear the stone and immediately build a pal box. I think yes, you can. Okay, good, good, good. Clear the area and start building up. Since before, I'm too close to a special boss facility. find out who the special boss is, hopefully. Okay, good stuff. Now we can create a pal box right here, right? Can we? Why? Okay, I guess we can. What does that let us do? Creates our parties, stores them in the box, and these are our pals at the base. We haven't captured any yet. Craft the pal spear, so I'm assuming that's our workbench. Eight fragments. Go with a max on pal spears.
Weapon of choice. Assuming the club is what they want us to use, but we will use the flaming torch. Lamb ball. Join us. He's on fire? You can light them on fire? No way. And look at this. Come here, let's catch him. Catch him. I didn't take the pal balls. Oh no. I want to try and catch him. Does he lose health if he's on fire? No, they just go out. I forgot to grab the pal spears. He's a little down. Got him. Right? One. Roast chicken. They get mad. I like it. Get him low on health. Get the chicken. Land ball got out. The flaming torch is epic. How many we get? One, two, a level. We got all three in a level. Very nice. Land ball is our vanguard. A walk up a hill tends to end. This pal tumbling back down. Sounds good. So. New pal captured, first capture XP plus 29. So we're trying to capture 30 is my understanding. Access the pal box to summon them to your base. So we did get all of them. What happens if we put this lamb ball in the... Okay, wait. If I put them there... Next box. Okay, so I want them there. Hal's at base. Wait. I put him here. The chicken is out. What is the chick keepy doing at my base? Collect some wood. Get this out of the way. Ooh, not with the axe. We don't want to damage our axe. I'm not sure if they take durability damage. I'm going to assume yes. Since one of the things I think we build, yeah, repair bench, insufficient materials, we're gonna have to start collecting wood. Can we get more stone? No, we don't want stone, we want wood. Use tab to consume food, okay. If I wanna consume eight minutes and 22 seconds, is this one of those situations where you have to wait? Can they consume it before me? I guess so. What did I just give my pal? No way. Wait, wait, wait. Lamb ball mutton. I'm feeding lamb ball. Wait, I fed lamb ball to... Lamb ball? You can feed them to themselves? Wait. That's the chick. You fed lamb ball to... Wait. We're eating the pals. They need beds too. We have some demanding pals. We're gonna have to get some wood to make beds. But they eat each other? down getting more stone I want to get the extra stat point from our inventory our weight is at 371 of 400 I'm tempted to add it to weight again I'm gonna add it to weight one more time we have two. Okay, that's good. So, no, it's just one. Never mind. Sorry, I thought it meant two points. I don't want to be weighed down. We'll clear all this eventually. What else can we build? A wood foundation, a campfire, a wooden chest. We should probably build a wooden chest. We'll put that next to our workbench.
So that is complete. So now we have to capture the five land balls and earn an XP bonus. Increase your player level by capturing 30 pals. Build up your base until you reach level 7. So we have a clear path here. How many balls can we make? Or spears. Oops. It can get confusing sometimes. Back to insufficient wood. Oh, I should be going around capturing pals or building up my base. If we drop some of the weight. I'm gonna chip away at the stone because that's how I get the spears, it looks like. I don't want to carry too much weight. You get one Paldean Fragment. But you pick up a lot of pounds as you go. Two Paladin Fragments. We have to go make the ball. See, so yeah, I would have captured him or tried to, but no Pal Spears. Equals no capturing pals. We had a few lying on the desk. We gotta remember to pick those up. Max production, four more. See if we could summon our pals. Huh. What? Oh, I see. Why isn't my pal coming out? What am I missing? Do I need the pal spear to summon them out? One's in the box, one's at the base. One's in here, eventually we'll figure it out. Mission complete, pal box upgraded. Mission complete, pal box available. It says somebody's coming towards our base. Insufficient wood, I'm tired of that. Drop some of the stone, gain some of the wood. The visitor has left the base. We had a visitor in our base and I didn't even see him. I knew it. Cutting down more trees would weigh us down. We're gonna need this, I'm assuming. Deploy a work pal to the base. Build a wooden chest. Current missions deploy a work pal to the base. What do you mean? <coughs> How do we deploy the pal to work at the base? Wait, what are we doing wrong here? Base upgrade. So level two for the base. So that's how we upgrade our base. Max pals working at the base two of three. Max number of bases. So is this how we set pals up to work for us? 
his pals at base. So if we put him here, he drops, wait, he dropped from the sky. He's gathering for me? That's epic. Where is the chicken? He just like disappeared. I didn't even know he was working for me. Build a wooden foundation for a house, why not? What else can we get going here? We want a pal bed. I don't want them getting cranky. I think we have to unlock more technologies. Yup. Okay. Bow and arrow. Okay, good, good. Yes, we want a bow and arrow, clearly. Structures, straw pal bed. We're gonna need a repair kit for this stuff. Cloth is required to create armor. We'll take that. Just unlock everything, right? Common shield. This is where it's gonna get a little bit rougher, I think. Paldea fragments. We haven't been able to get enough of those to create the balls yet. Yeah, we want to make pal beds. Straw pal bed. We'll give them a nice place to sleep. You completely skip over your own bed and you make a bed for your pals. That is definitely something every pet owner is going to understand. I'm not sure if your pet's going to come help build the bed like lamb ball over here, but looking out for them before you look out for you. Where's it going? So he has a bed now. Do I need a separate bed for each one? I guess we have to build a house base. This is sick. Okay. Now we can build our own shoddy little bed here. He runs over to help. I love it. Everyone's getting hungry. I'm getting hungry, it looks like, so... We better figure out how to feed ourselves. Pal box upgrade available. This game is a hell of a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Base upgrade. Build a feed box, build a straw pal bed. I have to build three straw pal beds, so it looks like we're gonna need more wood. And the max number of pals I have working for me can now go to three, so I should probably capture a couple more pals while they're over there. You're... wait a minute. Is this the chicken that's supposed to be working for me? This is what you're doing? You have the lamb over there, breaking its back trying to help me, and the chicken's just chilling, looking at the view. No, 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 no. We want more lamb balls if it's gonna be that way. What the? No wonder I didn't know he was working for me. He's over there chilling. Come on now. Good workers are hard to find. We're gonna have to tip lamb ball at some point. If this continues. I wanna find more pals. Where did they all go? Alright. I'm gonna head back up here because I see that hunger thing popping up down here and I don't want it to become a problem later on. I have the campfire already there so maybe we should cook up some food before we hunt down the pals. No items in queue. We actually have to hunt down the pals first in order to get the food it looks like. Wait, lift? Yo, what? I'm carrying him around? Wow. 
Why? But awesome? All at the same time? Open menu? Add to pot. Wait, I can pet him? I made a friend. A Lambo. And you're walking around with an axe. I don't know. I can feed it. So I have nothing to feed it with in my inventory. This is sick. And I lose stamina if I hold it. Command not to attack. Command to focus on the same enemy emote. He can dance? Well, I can dance. I want to make the pal dance. This is awesome. There's a few more. Let's go. We have pal spears, right? Right? We're gonna double check that. We have one. That's what I thought. I was like, we should probably get a couple more. The little things you could forget. I wanna play with the pal more. This is amazing. Should probably build a wall. No, you know what? We want a bigger house than that. Look, you're stopping off doing little tasks as you go. Right by the fire. Actually, wooden wall can go here. Because we're going to make this like a deck. Why not? That, that'll be our deck for now. Next to the fire. We're going to venture out. Can we just build all our walls? Hmm. We'll keep that available so we can expand the house as we go. Doorway. Okay. Sure, doorway can go here. Hello, friend. At a glance, it appears full of confidence, but it is, in fact, weak and cowardly. Being toyed with a Kativa is, in many ways, the greatest of disgraces. I, I thought the Kativa was pretty solid, actually. A pink cat walks up to you, you're like, you know what? We'll adopt it. Being that that chicken over there is just absolutely chilling, the cat is going to take the place of the chicken. And the chicken's going to come fight since it doesn't want to work. I, I think that's a good way of handling it. And since land balls are epic, we're going to put two land balls to work. We haven't even ventured out to capture pals and I'm having a blast. Look at this. This is amazing. Good boy. So wait, if you pet them... Does that encourage them to do more work for you? Alright, wait. This is epic. Build a nice straw bed for them. They all come and help? We gotta get treats. We need to get treats. Build it out. Three beds was an accomplishment, or a quest, so we're gonna make all three. And since we have three working for us... Right at the foot of your bed. They're all so proud of themselves. I 
I'm starting to really see why this game is being hyped as much as it is. It's like engrossingly fun. I don't know why I'm losing all this health right away. We just leveled up to level five. What in the world? I'm starving? I need to eat. How do I feed myself? Can I feed myself? Yeah, I want to feed myself with the berries. Right? Okay, I'm gaining health back from the berries. We're gonna have to collect some food. I'm hungry, I'm not starving. I guess that's what happens when you build. In good condition, in good condition. Where can we go pick up some food? Eh. As much as I'd like to take the plunge, okay, you're like, can we make it to the water? We're gonna distance ourselves from ideas like that at the moment. I'm sure at some point we'll exercise our ability to jump off the cliff and see what happens. Now probably isn't the best time. We're making friends with pals. We gotta go gather some materials. I am regaining my health, but I do want to get some more food because I think that's gonna be a concern later on. Maybe start exploring further areas. I feel like I'm too close to home right now. Picking up the wood. And I don't see many pals around, which is making me kind of sad. Maybe we will have to take the plunge. What is the blue surrounding here? It is. No? I don't want to freeze. I do want to upgrade stat points. Maybe stamina. What exactly decreases while running or climbing? You are unable to run when it reaches zero. Stamina is going to be what I use here. Yeah. Once we start getting into more engagements, we'll jump the attack. Get still. Uh oh. Okay, so that's a safe distance to fall. Still got a lot of weight. There's some pals. Catch them while they're asleep. Capture five land balls. Should have probably went with a bow and arrow, but we should be okay for now. That's a nice spot for a base, too. Maybe we'll be doing some... What is this glowing green object in the background? What? Well, there's our first unalive. How how in the world did that happen? Oh wow, I lost all my gear over there too. Which means I have no torch. Can I make one right now? Yes, I have enough to make the torch so that'll at least keep me warm. Maybe I can get back over there and pick up my gear. That totally took me by surprise. But I guess it's better to learn early than to learn later. Fire requires kindling. Might as well cook something while we're here, but we better get back over there and get our stuff. Not upgrade the base. The upgraded stat point didn't stay in. Okay, now we'll put it back in stamina. The wool... It's to create bedding and things. Okay. Not happy that I lost all my gear.
There it is. And we can go re-explore that glowing green object. What is that? Chaldean fragments? Really, on the ground. Collect Lift Monk Effigy and offer them to a Statue of Power to improve your ability to capture pals. So what happens if we mine this? I'm not sure I want to mess around with low health, but... Curiosity killed the cat. Can we mine with a torch? I'm gonna take a wild guess I have to repair my axe. And that's why I don't have it. Or, I'm sorry, mining pick. Is that another pal? I don't have that. Day of Dream? I'm gonna try and get it. burning down, but you're cold. Let's see if we can get it. I think we're gonna need a little more. Nope. Bone arrow would have been grossly helpful here. Get away from it. We're low, we're low, we're low. Uh oh. One more round of stamina. Missed with the ball. Okay. 34 health. Will we get it? 95, 99. Captured. That was close. That was close. I think we need to pick up some berries. Fun. I could feed myself with the berries, right? Or am I stuck waiting? So we've captured a new pal. We still have to go back and make more of these pal balls. Feed our daydream some berries. Can I? Let's see what happens if I try to do something like that. I'm gonna try and build a workbench right here. Can you? That's helpful. So I can start making the items right here without having to worry about going all the way back. Good move. When I started this playthrough, it was completely blind, pretty much. I didn't watch anyone else necessarily play the game, but I did have a good bit of information about it. But the point is, I guess there's little things you learn over the course of the playthrough that I'm learning as we go that's making it that much more fun. I'm not a spoiler-type gamer. I like to figure it out on my own. I like to do the adventures on my own prior to watching other people play the game. Tell me if you game like that, or your first impression is to watch another gamer play a game and then go play through it with all the knowledge. Either way works. 
Let's see. Start that pickaxe production. I do want one of those. Did I just make a second one? Oh no, I have to remember to pick it up off the table! No? Did I? You're losing your mind, Frozen. Okay, repair bench. Maybe a repair bench is what I need. Insufficient materials. At least we're back to daylight where we're not gonna freeze. So we can work a little bit. Still have to capture the lamb balls. But I want to be able to mine this. So if I build a repair bench here... 30 seconds, ouch. There's another new pal across the way. I'm gonna go try and capture it. I probably sh You know what, I'm gonna make the bow and arrow. It's only so long you could fight with flaming torches and clubs. Almost done, and then we can repair our stuff. I see. Okay, maybe I did that wrong. Hold on. Inventory, so... I have two torches in... I see, okay. It has to go that way. That's the proper way. Learning as we go. And can you repair the item? There, that's how you do it, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Cuts us down a little bit on our materials, but at least we figured out what to do. I do want to get some armor, too. Long list of things to do in this game. And it definitely has kept my interest so far. Which is the most important thing. The more I think about it, the more I feel like this would have been a better spot for a base. Probably should have explored a little bit, but it is what it is. We'll make the fragments, five balls, go. Spears, not balls. I mean, you do see the similarities that people are comparing this game to with other games, but I mean... It, when I put the idea out of my head of comparing this to other games for those few minutes, it's just an absolute ton of fun to play. I mean, you want to say everything's been done already, but I don't necessarily believe all that. And when I think about, I don't know, I, the first game that came to mind was Pokemon Arceus. When I think about the first 30 minutes to an hour in that game compared to the first 30 minutes to an hour in this game, I've been having a lot more fun playing this, which I'm not sure what exactly that says. No shortage of things to do. I'm not gonna carry that much weight. I'm gonna try to keep it light. So, we're gonna have to make a bow. Which would be the workbench, not the repair bench. That's how we get our pals out. Awesome. Okay, good, good, good. This one comes back. The dream one comes out. Pick up the spears, make the arrows. This is a lot of fun. Need some more wood. Luckily, we have this tree just chilling here, volunteering. weigh myself down. I wonder what my pals are doing up there at the base while they're working. 
And can I teleport back to check? Alright. Inventory. I'm going to try and equip the bow and arrow. We haven't used the club much, so bow and arrow. Put together some more ammo. And then we're going to capture those pals. This is where you're going to want that work production speed increased. Take a while to make 39 arrows. And the workbench takes stamina durability too. I'm seeing that 964 out of a thousand. Leveled up my daydream over here. So even working, you do gain stats. This is, the, I guess, the tedious part. Because you're looking across the way, and you just want to go play with your bow and arrow. Mind a cup full ores, it looks like. Paladin fragments. And what is that bird with the hat on? Cats. Oh, this is going to get good. Make the arrows, and let's go. Time to play. A who crate? What is that? A who crates? You come up with me. What about my arrows? I, I, I'm gonna get low and try and capture him. Bingo. He's out. Miss. Grab. This should keep it, right? No? You're gonna go to the very end. Eighty-four. Ninety-nine. One hundred. Often lost in thought, it sometimes finds itself difficult to sleep, so that could be our night worker. Funny how you forget to do simple things, right? So in order, make some wool. Get back over there. Take a swim. Been wanting to load up on pal spears, and this seems to be the way to do it. Trying to have a nice day, right? You're coming with me. There's a level seven one. What, bro? Well, he got aggressive with me.
Oh no! We're back home! With nothing! We're gonna head back that way. Pick up our gear. They're just whistling while you work over here. Base upgrade not available yet. Goal is to get it to seven. Can we fast travel over there? Can we? No, right? We're actually gonna have to run back. All right, here we go. That includes our pal spears that are lost too. In multiplayer, I'm imagining people can pick up your gear and just go with it. Which again would add just another sick layer to this game. Alright. There's our stuff. And now they've disappeared. The unused stat point, we don't want to put that now. I think at this point, attack, it's starting to become an issue, so we should start leveling up attack, defense, and our fighting abilities. Take, getting taken down by a level 7 didn't make me happy, so now we're going to start putting those points there. Take everything from our death chest, give me my bow and arrow. How did that not hit him? Or was he finished already? You want to come with me instead. Is that five of five? Four or five. No, five of five. Increase your player level. Is that it's huge oh no 34 no 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 get out that thing I don't even trust it get away from me if they're gonna attack you at random obviously that one's sending me right back to the home base let's hide behind this rock get some berry seeds from the rock and run away from it now I'm not even gonna try 34 Unless I could ride it as a mount. That would be pretty sick. Actually, that would be a pretty sick mount. Alright. We have to increase our player level and capture 30 pals. We're out of pal spears. Way down? Close. They're just swimming. Is he one of mine? No? Have a heart. Have a heart. Don't shoot it while it's swimming. Hmm. He's gonna come attack? Or is he trying to get away? You're gonna attack. No, you're not. Get back. That's not happening. He just rolled into the water. I'll let you go since you understand. 
the route this is gonna head if we continue. Unless that's my... I feel like I'm missing out on something going on in that lake. Are they fighting? Are they friends? Like... I'm watching the show in the background. What is that gigantic green dinosaur going next to that mamma rest? If we can go from downtown with this one. If we piss it off good, at least we have some time to get away. Level 15, let's shoot it in the face. Oh no. It's coming. Oh no. No. Can it climb mountains? Please tell me it can't climb. Where is it? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's not a good idea to go down there right now and mess around my workbench unless he's thinking that the lamb balls did it. Are you really coming to attack me too? Come here, bro. You're a level one. Get out of here. No, no, no. Bad, bad. Was it worth it? Kick him into the water. We're good. I was just minding my own business. Shooting the level 15 and the lamb ball had to come in there. Try and stake its claim. Looks like this area is pretty well farmed. So maybe we should head back towards the base. I feel like I'm carrying a lot of weight again. How do we dump some weight? Maybe we'll go... Maybe unlocking technology would probably be a good way to start, right? Unlock common shield, yeah. Which leaves us with no wood but 55 stone. We can collect wood as we head back to the base. So that's how you unload it. Unlocking technologies when you're out in the field. Again, though, f look at this. 450. What are you trying to get me to build? Can I just lose the stone from my inventory? Yeah, okay, good. I could pick up more as I go if I want it. Because I don't really need it. I don't see anything necessary yet. This is not going to give me the fragments I need. Nine ore. We'll take that. Now again, that's going to start weighing us a little bit. That's why I picked the weight ability stat first, because imagine if we didn't. We'd be a hundred pounds less that we, we'd have a hundred pounds less we could carry and we'd be lagging along the whole way if we picked attack or defense or something like that early. Back to the base. They have to be hungry at this point. Build a feed box and build a straw bed. I thought I did the straw beds. We don't really have much wood. Straw bed, right? Again with the... The 
It probably would have been better to drop the stone at my base so we had the materials here. But as we know, we go through these games and we learn. Alright, we'll use the fragments to make the balls quickly. Or spears. How many can we make? Two? So wholesome. So, so wholesome when they come help you. Can I designate them to lumber, I wonder, instead of stone? Like, I want lumber. That's going to weigh us down. Three of them coming over to help. And as soon as they arrive, the speed increases. Stay here, guys. I'm making beds. One more. This is stupid fun. I don't even know why, but it's stupid fun. Being that this is developed by a third party studio, it goes to show you not everything needs to be AAA to be epic. Unexpected. Very unexpected, but I'm sure I'm like other gamers saying that playing Power Oak. You played Palro, what are your thoughts so far on it? What was your first impression of this game? I don't know why, but I'm enjoying building the house. We're running out of room. Foundation. Can we make another layer? Oh, I'll take that fragment, thank you very much. Head over here, take the pal spears. I hope that doesn't become a mental block in my head for getting to take the spears off the table or the items off the table. Alright, three of three. We're at the hungry point now. Let's feed. Can we unlock a stone spear? We're gonna need more wood. So this is where we could start using more stone. Then we can maybe get on some ancient technology, but hunger is probably the first thing we should deal with. Used to whom? Did I just... Okay, I fed lamb ball to Chikipi. Oh. I'm just enjoying carrying around my pal. He's enjoying it. Owl's out. Sounds like there's a party going on in the background. Two pal spears, give me, we come by our campfire. 
require our lamb kebab to be cooked. No base upgrade available. Max number of bases. Max number of pals working at base. A feed box? Okay. Felt like I was missing something. Unless I didn't unlock that as a technology. Let's see. Yes, feed box. We're gonna want armor. Can we unlock that? Yeah, we're unlocking the structures. More structures, a berry plantation. Unlock ranch. This game is epic. I'm sitting over here building a home on whatever island I started out on, and I'm like, we're gonna have to relocate. We're gonna have to find a new place to build a mansion, a ranch, the whole nine. This is just our starter home. And I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Can you have two homes? Where do we build the wood again? Again with the wood. The other ones are sleeping. The owl's up at night. You gotta love it. Come here, bro. We're gonna be friends. I'm a night owl, too. No. Get in the ball. Don't run away. less because it's at night? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing carrying weight is really gonna matter. It's these fragments that are a pain to find. Hanging trap. Ranch. requires handiwork so I guess since this is where we set up our base we're gonna need a repair bench here they're all sleeping so I guess I'm not gonna get any help on this bench what happens when you work at night Four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. Complete. Repair. Definitely want to repair the bow. I'm guessing we do not have the materials. It's the feed box that we have to build. You back? Again with the wood. All that. You 
just get lost in the epic gameplay. And I wouldn't have it any other way. There we go. Now we can finally build our feed box. Can't climb. They're gonna run over to build the- yeah, they, they wasted no time whatsoever on the feed box. They were all there within seconds. You can come back out now, Owl. Oops. Good. You wanna keep them happy. It's always important to keep your pets happy. Can't pet. Yeah, let's feed him actually. Eat some berries. She's clapping to have him come over, like, come here, boy. Oh my. I thought he was just gonna eat it. I didn't expect a come here, boy thing kinda. You could just have fun in your little home base. They all look happy. Let's feed him. Feeding pals is epic. The cat is amazing. No, I want to feed the cat. I don't want to feed. Look, the owl's trying to sneak on in. <laughs> and he got a fragment. How many do we have? One start production. Having a blast and I'm just running around the base, patting my pals and whatever else is going on here. Building up. So I think I'd upgrade my base now, since I built the feeder for them. Base upgrade to four. So we built the campfire, build a berry plantation, and deploy a pal to work to the base. Okay, so we need one more. The owl is definitely going to go work. He's been chilling a little too much. Can we make the owl work? Yes, we can. If they're a higher level, do they work harder? A mine foreman. What does he do? That... His passive skill does not make me confident that he's gonna be a good worker. So we're gonna put him back and we're gonna... Put the mine foreman out instead. We're gonna need that a little bit more... Than a sadist. I don't know why I'm not surprised with the owl. What else did they say we had to build? Berry plantation. Okay. Is that a technology we didn't unlock yet? I don't remember unlocking that. Fire bow and fire arrow. We're just skipping the clothes and going right to the plantations here. We need our food. How do, I, do I have that? She slides, wait. I didn't know you could do that. Jump and see and you slide. There's your roll, okay. We do we get insufficient materials. We need, again with the wood. Again with the wood.
you gotta figure out if there's a way to designate pals to something specific, but I'm guessing that goes on their abilities. Looking at Daydream over there with the mining ability. We need to find one that can bring us more wood because that seems to be an ongoing issue here. But as time goes, we are rapidly uploading our base. Sliding into home. Where can we build the berries? Okay, berry field can go right here. All four of them come help. Only one? Oh, the lamb is getting out. Oh, they're running. They're coming. They're coming. They were a little out in the distance, so it's going to take them a little more time. I was about to give lamb ball a treat for getting on it that quick. Daydream just makes it here at the last minute. Who's hungry? I thought I just fed him. Where are they? We'll get our base to level 5. Build a PAL gear workbench and build a statue of power. How do you build a pal gear bench? Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess would be a technology pal gear workbench that we don't have the materials for, no doubt, but of course it's wood and a statue of power, which we are going. Do we have enough? Living room furniture set. Wooden tavern furniture set. This is becoming too much fun, this game, and I'm getting worried. I might enjoy it too much. Got some more wood. 22 set will be enough. Which one is hungry? Is it me? Much better. Much better. Finally putting together enough where I feel I can venture out a little bit further into the world, and so far the little bit that I've seen of the world looks absolutely amazing. No regrets playing this so far. The only question I have next is what happens if I want to move my base? thought we had wood. Didn't we just do that? Yes. So there's the 22 wood again. Probably put fiber inside the box. Alright, Pal Gear Workbench. 26 of 30. Oh. 
Get a couple sticks. Where's the stone? Get rid of that. The ore weighs 244 pounds. We're gonna have to put that in the chest. I think that would help. You're weighed down with the too many items. Alright. I have to start learning to use my chest more, I think. That's probably what I'm doing wrong early. You do have enough for this workbench. There you go. Good spot, right? Second thing to upgrade, build a statue of power, which I'm going to assume we don't have enough to do. We didn't unlock that in technology. Right? We did or didn't? We didn't. But we would need points to unlock it, the structure points, which we need another one, so we cannot do that quite yet. I don't know why I'm zipping them in and out of the pal spears, but it's fun. Requires planting, so let's drop our seeds. And then watering? There's a lot involved in this. No usable recipes. Try unlocking recipes in the technology menu. How far down do we have to go for recipes? A parachute? No, oh, man. We gotta just start gaining some levels. Build out my wood foundation. So you leave it in their feed box. Ah, I see. So you put it there, that's how they stay fed, and that prevents them from starving. You're learning so much as this game continues to progress. Now, sadly, this is the point where I'm going to have to end the video. I almost forgot that I was recording a YouTube video, and it felt like I was just streaming through. I don't know how long this is, this video, but I'm um, using that as a way to show how good this game is. If I got lost in transition playing this game to that level, it shows it is that addictive, and to me it's worth the hype. We're definitely gonna be doing more videos on this, no doubt about it. I'm gonna probably stop recording and keep going right from this point because it's just been that much fun. It's been absorbing, actually, addictive. A very well-made game so far on first impression, and they continue to say this is only an early development. There's so much more I want to explore. We haven't even gotten to the point where we're really venturing out, capturing pals, picking up the pew-pews. We're just building our way up to it, and it's been epic so far. How world is worth the hype if you're looking for an early impression from me. Amazing so far. So everybody, without further ado, so we can get ready for this next video and jump right into it. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Everybody, have a good day or night wherever you are. I will see you in the next video very shortly. Later.